One, there we go. All right. All right. All right. Here we are. If you guys go ahead and get up on your feet, if you're here for some VB, yeah, sit up on those feet. And let's sing with us. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. This one is called The Peace that passes understanding. Are you ready? I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. This one's tough. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Oh, you weren't with me on that one. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart, and I'm so happy. So very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, your favorite verse, and if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack, <laughs> sit on attack, <laughs> sit on attack, and if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack, <laughs> sit on attack to stay, and I'm so happy, so very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Guys, welcome to Monumental. That's the name of our vacation Bible school this summer. Welcome to Monumental here at Mount Comfort Church Christ. We're happy to have you here. And it's the love of Jesus that's deep down in our heart that caused us to invite you here to be here so that we can share that with you. And so that you also, if you didn't already know, so that you could know that we love you too. All right, we're glad that you're here. Monumental is our theme. But do you know what monumental means? It means something that is enormous, something that's just so enormous, okay? In, in Psalm 103, he says, God's love for us is as high as the heavens are from the earth. That's how big his love for us is. It's monumental. As you look around at the directions, uh, the directions, the uh, decorations, excuse me. As you look around at the decorations when you came in and, and today, I want you to start thinking, what, what do you think monumental might be representing? We're taking a trip we're pretending to take a trip this summer through the southwest in a place called Monument Valley. As you go through the halls today, as you go from wreck to wreck, I want you to look at those and think to yourself, I wonder what Monument Valley might look like. And it's the hand of the maker, our God in heaven, who actually made that place. And we're trying to give you some images of things that he has created so that you can understand not just the great world he's given to you, but what wonderful love he has for you. All right? Go ahead and stand up again if you're not already on your feet. We've got a couple more songs before we launch you with your groups tonight. Are you ready? Okay. We've already talked about the joy that's deep down in our heart to stay. Okay. For this one, though, our creator is not just the creator of monuments. He's also the king of the jungle. Who's the king of the jungle? Oh, hang on, hang on. Who's the king of the jungle? Who's the king of the sea? Water, water, water. Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? His name is J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes! He's the king of me. He's the king of the universe, the jungle and the sea. Water, water, water. Who's the king of the jungle? Who's the king of the sea? Water, water, water. Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? When we spell that out, J-E-S-U-S, -S, what are we spelling? Jesus! That's his name, Jesus. Who's the king of the desert? Who's the king of the stars? Who's the king of the Milky Way? And who's the king of Mars? His name is J-E-S-U-S. Yes! He's the king of Mars. He's the king of the Milky Way, the desert and the stars. Who's the king of the desert? Who's the king of the stars? 
but who's the king of the Milky Way? And who's the king of Mars? Who's the king? Jesus! I'm just glad you didn't say hoop hoop. All right. Yes, the king is Jesus. Your God made you. We have a memory verse for today that comes from Psalm 89. It says, your unfailing love will last forever. I want you to say this first part. Psalm 89. Psalm 89. Verse 2. Verse 2. Your unfailing love. Will last forever. Will last forever. Right, try that with your hands too. Your unfailing love will last forever. Okay? Forever and ever. Psalm 89 and 2. That is our memory verse for tonight as we launch you into the very first evening of Vacation Bible School. In just a moment, we're going to sing another song. And group leaders, you're going to be thinking about who you need to get to do what chores today. We've got thank yous, right? The person who at the door is going to thank the teacher or thank the people who help out. We've got to have somebody who's going to lead prayers in your group. We've got somebody, somebody who's going to be the line leader in your group. We've got to have somebody who reminds you that you need to smile because Jesus loves you. Okay, we've got all kinds of jobs within your group. Be thinking about how you can dish those jobs out tonight while we sing these next couple of songs. Here we go. I know that you know this song. Okay. It requires two fists. Okay. And for you to do this. All right. That's the one. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the wise man's house stood firm. But the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the foolish man's house went. That was it. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. Oh, the blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. What's our memory verse? Psalm 89, verse 2. Your unfailing love will last forever. Okay? We're going to say a short prayer, and then group leaders, I want you to make sure you've got your group together and you're dishing out some of those jobs. We're already just a few minutes behind getting you to your first rotation. Guys, it's so great to have you here. We love that you're here with us, and we love that we get a chance to share that with you and the message of Jesus and his compassion and his great love for you because he has monumental love for you. Let's go ahead and pray. Go ahead and bow your heads, okay? Father in heaven, we thank you so much that you call us your children. Thank you so much that you listen because you love us. We want to bring this to you tonight. Help us to open our eyes to the wonderful things that you have to teach us. Help us to show love to the people around us. And help us to learn to love you more as we learn just more, more about you each night. Help us to do that. And Father, help us to take joy and the wonderful things that are being shared with us here in this wonderful church. We ask these blessings and we ask your safety this evening through the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Let's see what you've been up to tonight, all right? Let's see what you've been doing. To the Lord, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah unto the Lord from the ends of the earth, from the ends of the earth, from the depths of the sea, from the depths of the sea, let all creation praise his name from the ends.
All right, guys, we're waiting on a couple of groups to get back and join us in here at the end, but while we wait, we're going to sing a couple of songs, okay? Go ahead and get up on your feet. All right. Go ahead and get up on your feet. All right. You guys we're waiting on a couple busy. more groups. Oh, here they are. All right, so they're here to join us, okay? We did a great deal today learning about, learning about this one sentence. I want you to repeat the sentence. It's something you should have all heard several times tonight. God loves you no matter what. All right, one more time. God loves you no matter what. And he has given us so many examples of that. And those are people whose stories we're going to put in this song. It's called If You're Happy and You Know It. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then take your shirt. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then you're very sure, sure. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, do the Noah. Woo! It's six here. If you're happy and you know it, do the Noah. Woo! It's six here. If you're happy and you know it, then you're very sure, sure. If you're happy and you know it, do the Noah. If you're happy and you know it, do the David. If you're happy and you know it, do the David. If you're happy and you know it, then the rest are sure. If you're happy and you know it, do the David. If you're happy and you know it, do the lion. If you're happy and you know it, do the lion. If you're happy and you know it, then the rest are sure. If you're happy and you know it, do the lion. Hey, you should know this one from the story you had in Bible class tonight. If you're happy and you know it, do the Joseph. You, you pull on your shoulders like you have a new coat on, you go, I make this look good. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, do the Joseph. I make this look good. If you're happy and you know it, let me the show. If you're happy and you know it, do the Joseph. I make this look good. All right. If you're happy and you know it, do the Daniel. Sit line, sit, good line. If you're happy and you know it, do the Daniel. Sit line, sit, good line. If you're happy and you know it, then you're very sure to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do the Daniel. Sit line, sit, good line. You learned this one from the lesson this morning. If you're happy and you know it, do the Shadrach, the Meshach, and the Abednego. The fire is so delightful. If you're happy and you know it, do the Shadrach, the Meshach, and the Abednego. The fire is so delightful. If you're happy and you know it, then you're very sure to show it. If you're happy and you know it, then the Shadrach, the Shadrach, the Abednego. The fire is so delightful. If you're happy and you know it, have a seat. <laughs> hey, our memory verse tonight, our memory verse was Psalm 89 2. Your unfailing love, you finish it. Your unfailing love will last forever. Ever. Try that again. Your unfailing love will last forever. Guys, that is God's love for you. He loves us so much, and you got to experience some of that from your teachers and counselors. Raise your hand if you were a thank you person tonight. Did you say thank you to your teachers and to your counselors tonight? Did you do that? All right. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're there. Raise your hand if you got to lead a prayer for your group tonight. Oh, I love seeing that. Yes, we want to be prayerful people. All right, and ask God's blessings on us. Raise your hand if you got to be a line leader tonight. Oh, that's an important one too. We'd like to know where we're going, right? Okay, you did too? Hey, that's great. It's nice that we get to know where we're going and leaders are part of that job. Did you say thank you to your leaders? Can you turn to your, your group leader right now and say thank you, group leader? 
Oh, some of you said it to me. I'm not your group leader. Your group leader is the tall person, tallest person sitting next to you, I'll bet you. Thank you, group leaders. And if you haven't heard it already, thank you, teachers. Get back up on your feet, you guys. Get back up on your feet. And finish our statement. God loves you no matter what. Okay, try this. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to them belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Hey! Na 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 Sometimes it's hard for us to be lovable. Have you ever been? Is, have you ever had a day where you look like Miss Rebecca did in that picture? She, said, she was showing us what it looks like sometimes when we're the ones who are upset, right? Okay. But God says, "Here's how you'll know my love." Is. You're going to grow these things. Read after me. Hold your fingers up. Ready? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. You need a second hand now. Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's the fruit of His Spirit in you. But you know what the fruit of the Spirit's not? It's not a coconut. Fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. And you say, the fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. You're going to be a coconut. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. A fruit of the Spirit is not a watermelon. Fruit of the Spirit is not a watermelon. What you yelling? You said, what you yelling? If you're going to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit is not a kiwi. No, no, not that for that when you say, Wee! we're doing rhyming words, tall people. All right? The fruit of the Spirit is not a kiwi. Fruit of the Spirit's not a kiwi. You're going to be a kiwi, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. All right, we've been counting to nine. Let's try spelling to three, all right? Try this one J O. Why? You ready? Okay. I've got joy down in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart. Spell it. J O Y down in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus put it there, and no one can destroy it. Huh. And the hut's got to be hut, right? So I'm from here. Huh. Yeah. I've got joy down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. Spell it. J-O-Y down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus put it there and no one can destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Oh, better. That was better. I've got joy down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. This one, he's ready. He's, he's doing the destroy story really well. All right? Do you think you can do it faster? Yes. All right. Ready? Loosen up if you have to. Loosen up if you have to. Oh, not loose enough. Not loose enough. Keep on going. Keep on going. There you go. That's loose enough. Ready? I've got joy down my heart. Deep, deep down my heart. Spell it. J O Y down my heart. Deep, deep down my heart. Jesus put it there, and no one can destroy it. Oh, joy down my heart. Deep, deep down my heart. He can go 
go faster. <laughs> she can too, I can see it. There's a look in their eyes, you can see it from up here. Just look around, you can tell if the person next to you can go faster. Take a good look, take a good look. Are you ready? All right, even looser. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I've got joy down my heart. Ding, ding, down my heart. Well, J-O-I, down my heart. Ding, ding, down my heart. Jesus put it there. I know I'm going to torch, torch, torch. I've got joy down my heart. Ding, ding, down my heart. You're gonna have to come back tomorrow to be even faster than that, okay? Hey, turn to somebody on, your, on one side and say, I'm glad you were here tonight. Now turn the other direction and say, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Now turn to the back wall with those two men behind the booth and say, thank you for helping us tonight. And now turn back this way and I want you to put two hands together like this. We're going to finish with a prayer and a song. While we sing our last song, parents, neighbors, grandparents, chaperones of all sizes, you're welcome to come and get your kid from their group. But kids, you stay put, okay? We're going to have a prayer and a song, and during that song, somebody's going to come and pick you up, okay? Ready? Got your hands together with you bow that head. God in heaven, maker of everything. You even made these bodies that we just threw around in that silly song. We love you, and we're thankful, so thankful that you hear us, for calling us your children, for loving us so monumentally big that, that you have to use words that sometimes we don't understand, and uh, you use ways. We're grateful for the story of Joseph and what it taught us about how we're never alone and we can't be anywhere that you don't love us. We're thankful for our, our leaders tonight, and we're thankful for the friends that we've been able to spend time with. We're thankful for open doors at a church like this where we, we get to love on each other uh, in your name. We ask as each one here tonight goes home with that pressed upon their heart that we get to love each other in your name and we do that because of the great love that you have for us because you love us no matter what. Father, bless these children with good health and we hope that we see them all again tomorrow. We thank you and we praise you through the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good. He's so good.